Thanks, Ruben. Now, the same world-renowned broadcast technology found in Brainstorm's flagship products have now been brought over to Edison Pro to take your presentations to the next level. Even though it's evolved from the sophisticated, higher-end tools, Edison Pro is simple to use, regardless of your technical background. And when I say evolved, we've been doing this for nearly 30 years, starting with eStudio, and which was much more for the OpenGL nerds and the, and, and the technical type people. And then we've, uh, we continued that evolution into Aston, which is our CG product, into Infinity Set, which is our flagship AR and VR uh, product that you've seen all over the world with many hundreds and hundreds of different customers. Now what we've done is we've boiled that down, simplified it, taken out some of the, the more complex tools, and simplified it to for the end user into the product that you see now, which is Edison Pro. Now let's go ahead and just do a quick demo. We're going to jump into Edison Pro, the interface itself here, and just go over a couple, three, maybe four of the key features. This is not an exhaustive list. There are dozens and dozens of other features that we can show off, and in, that we do show off actually in our tutorials. So what we're going to do now is I want to talk quickly about our track free technology. That is our patented technology developed by Brainstorm. And what track free does is if you look down below me here on the bar, you'll notice there are a bunch of shot boxes. What these shot boxes allow me to do is on the fly I can pick different camera positions for my virtual camera. I have essentially limitless, hundreds and hundreds of different positions I can choose. And I can change the flight time. I could even change these to be cuts instead of nice big boom dolly shots like you just saw with this epic movement. What this does for the end user is it saves them hundreds if not thousands of dollars on expensive tracking equipment by emulating tracking. I, you'll notice I can even interpolate between two or three different camera preset positions and interrupt them even. And similar to a real world environment, all they do is pivot and rubber band into the new position. Another major feature that I would like to cover now is the aspect that we have all of these different real-time 3D environments available through our asset library. So uh, Pedro, let's go ahead and let's transition over to a new set. Let's go to an influencer scene. And you'll notice around me I've got a whole new different environment with different 3D assets, different customizable messaging if I want perhaps on these walls over here, even things like the time of day on my clock could be different. I could be using an easel as opposed to a PowerPoint uh, type uh, display here. Or if I wanted to, I can go into my asset library and I'm going to choose to decide, you know, I really don't like this podium. I'm going to select a different podium. So you'll see here now that we're selecting a new different podium. There it is. So now you'll and not only do I have more podiums I could select I have dozens of different 3D backgrounds I can select so let's say I'm an educator and I want to be in a classroom teaching and training my students let's go ahead and transition over to that background and here I am and again this 3D environment has entirely different available designs and customizations available for me. Let's go ahead and we're going to transition back to our big keynote and env speaker environment here. Perfect. Now what we're also able to do is utilize 3D objects whether from our pre-built library or downloaded from any source on the internet. So what I've got right here so I'm going to go over here and grab this Formula One race car. And you'll notice that currently it is 
behind me just like it would be as a slide, but now I can pull it forward and now it's an AR object. And just take a look at how beautiful this is. PBR shaders, it is very photorealistic and what I can do is I can even be spinning it around a little bit here to perhaps show something about its aerodynamic properties or maybe a new sponsor that we've added painted on the side here. And again, it's no longer just a PowerPoint slide. It's, a it's an AR object in front of me here that I'm able to explain even more in depth in this immersive environment. Now, I wanted to talk quickly about how we are generating these beautiful photorealistic backgrounds and this floor below me. We're using the power of Unreal Engine. What that allows us to do is use video game technology for a real-time environment at hyper-realistic, photorealistic levels. In addition to being able to have a background from Unreal Engine, we also have the optional Unreal Engine Control plugin. What the Unreal Engine Control plugin gives you is the power to control any property, any action, any actor, or any other special event that you would like to see happen in this environment. And it allows you to control that with a, without any scripting, really with just typing a couple object property values to go find that desk, for example, that you want to scale up or scale down or move in 3D space. This gives you complete control and flexibility over your Unreal Engine scene. 